Pluto, which is one of the ninth planet of our solar system, boasts an enormous ocean made of ice and water that might be containing extraterrestrial life, claims NASA scientists. Previously, research thought that the planet Pluto is located too far from the Sun to support biological life. Apparently, Stephen Vance, an astrobiologist at NASA, believes that the ocean in the Pluto might be loaded with various elements like ethyl alcohol, methanol, hydrocarbons like methane and ethane, and various other complicated particles made up of carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. All these substances are building blocks of life. One cannot negotiate or neglect the possibilities of alien life on the planet. The astronomers used to think the Pluto as a remote bound, chilling rock planet. But with the visit of New Horizon, the assumption seems to be a little bit different. Considering the data and the information provided by the New Horizon, the hypothesis for the most appealing planet of the solar system has kept on varying. A prior study revealed that the center of the Pluto is warm enough to bolster a liquid water ocean or a sea. And the latest study have discovered that the source of the water in the Pluto may be enormous. The study also said that the source wouldn't be less than 62 miles deep or 100 kilometers deep. As indicated by the group of Brown universities, this is however confirmed that the in-depth water source of the Pluto is at least 100 kilometers. In addition, the scientists from NASA have also found out the Earth-like icy features on the Pluto and suspect that this can be a new beginning of discovering new life on the planet Pluto. A similar kind of weather forecasting device was used by the meteorologists to find an icy features on the Pluto. Through the computer simulations, physicists have found out the ice vaporizations on the Pluto. The penitents are formed by erosions. These are bowl-shaped depressions with spires around their edges. They are several meters high and icy in nature. Researchers are suspecting that these features may exist on the other planets too, where environmental conditions are similar to it. The new study published in the journal Nature reveals that the conditions on the Pluto is similar to its moon Charon. They have both have abundant quality of ammonia required for the survival of an alien life. The scientists believe that the Pluto's ocean might be harboring bacterial life forms beneath the oceans. The author William McKenna told that, You do not have a space for bacteria on Pluto, much less for the fish or other life as we understand it here in the Earth of the world. But similar to the methane seas on Titan, Saturn's primary moon, this research study raised the concern of whether brand new life types might exist on these cold, unique liquids. Life can endure a lot of things. It can endure a great deal of salt, severe cold, severe heat and so on. However, I do not believe it can endure such a big quantity of ammonia. If we are to think of the life in the ocean totally covered with a layer of ice, the very best we might wish for would be type of extremely primitive life, possibly even a pre-cellular life forms. So what do you think of the new findings such as that there would be or must be life and life forms in the planet Pluto, which is the farthest planet in our solar system? A new interstellar object has been found in our solar system, which could be an alien object or an alien spaceship. A rocky cigar shape object detected in space last month came from another solar system. Astronomers said on November 20th of 2017, as they confirmed an unprecedented observations, the discovery may provide clues as to how other solar systems are formed, says the researchers, who published their study in the British journal Nature. The asteroid named Oumuamua by its discoverers is one quarter mile or 400 meters long and highly elongated perhaps 10 times as long as it is wide. The asteroid was detected by the telescope in Hawaii. The Wow Wow means messengers in Hawaiian. That odd shape is unprecedented among the 750,000 asteroids and comets observed in our solar system where they are formed, said the researchers. They concluded that the cigar shaped thing is from another solar system. Due to data on its orbit, these objects enter our solar system once in a year. 
but they are hard to trace and had not been detected until now, thanks to the strongest telescopes. The detection suggests that this object has been wandering through our galaxy, the Milky Way, unattached to any solar systems for hundreds of millions of years before it ran into our solar systems. For decades, we have theorized that such interstellar objects are out there, and now, for the first time, we have the direct evidence that they exist," said Thomas Zubachin, the associate administrator of NASA Science Mission Directorate in Washington, D.C. This history-making discovery is opening a new window to study the formation of solar system beyond our own. So what do you think of the new interstellar object which is heading towards Earth and to our solar system from one year? Will this be an really an asteroid or a spaceship or any kind of uh, weapon? It was a special day when this object was first uh, discovered. Uh, we have been waiting for the discovery of an interstellar object for decades, basically. Oh, when I first heard about this interstellar object, it was very exciting just from a scientific point of view that finally there's uh, been an actual observation of such an object. This object is simply a piece of another solar system that was expelled and it has been traveling through interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, billions of years, we don't know. A number of our uh, survey projects and other observatories uh, immediately turned their telescopes to take observations of this object. From the observations we have so far, it uh, looks like it's a very elongated object, uh, maybe uh, about a quarter mile in length. We think this object, 2017 U1, is very long, perhaps 400 meters or so long and very narrow, skinny, perhaps maybe 40 meters or so in the other dimensions. That's a very unusual shape. We don't see that in our solar system. None of the asteroids in our solar system look like that. So it's very puzzling how it could have obtained this shape. We also see that it's uh, uh, very reddish uh, in color, which uh, indicates that uh, it's been uh, uh, possibly in space a, a long time uh, and irradiated by uh, not only the light from our sun, but uh, other suns as well. well. There's still quite a bit to learn about this interstellar object and, and limited time because it's on its way out of the solar system. It's fading very fast. It's a relatively uh, small object, so it's uh, very dim. But we are continuing to try to use NASA assets like the Hubble Space Telescope and Spitzer to take uh, observations to determine more about its uh, size and composition. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office has a near-Earth object observations program which funds efforts that survey the skies to look for near-Earth asteroids and to calculate their orbits and their trajectories and to determine if any of them might pose a hazard to Earth. And as part of doing that, some amazing discoveries can happen and the discovery of this interstellar object was one of them. As our observational capabilities improve, PanSTARS has been getting better, other surveys have been getting better. There are a new generation surveys that will come online. We will be detecting more of these in the future. Water, our most precious resource. Together, we have established some vital goals. But what is a goal if not a promise? And what is our promise worth if not delivered? Sustainable Development Goal 6 Ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. By 2030, 
In this world of unquenchable thirst, every nation drinks at the same well. 71% of Earth's surface is water. 4% is fresh water, but only 0.5% of that is safe for human consumption. We find ourselves in deep, uncharted waters. Today our promises are at risk, and challenges rise up more rapidly than solutions. Two in five people are affected by water scarcity. 263 million people spend more than 30 minutes just to collect water, meaning less education for too many. More than 2 billion people drink water contaminated by feces. Diarrheal disease is preventable with safe water, yet it kills one child every minute. Our task is daunting. Climate change is one of the greatest challenges of our time, with its catastrophic effects accelerating. Shocks of drought and deluge unleash their devastation. While population growth increases demand for water, food, and energy, rivers dry up and no longer reach the sea. Ours has become a defining moment in human history. Water has forced itself to center stage. It demands that we change fundamentally. It asks that we value it profoundly. The world is waiting for leadership. We must keep our promise. Do you value water? Post your comments below and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching this is wc daily think big think different bye